Are you seeing this? <laughs> Why do I have creations loading underneath creations? It's all a bit funky at the moment. The Sims resource can't handle the amazing emoness of The Sims 2. <laughs> Hi, hey, hello, my name is Sarah and welcome to a Sims 2 CC video because today I feel like going CC shopping once again and I am also going to show you how to install the CC for the Sims 2 as well if perhaps you're maybe newer to the Sims 2 and you're unsure, stick around, it's going to be a great fun time. If specifically you don't care about the CC that I'm downloading, you just want to see how to install CC files into your Sims Sims 2 game skip to this time in the video because that's when I'm going to start talking about how to install your CC but with that being said let's go shopping so here we are on the Sims resource, which is the, the resource for Sims CC. It has been going since 1999. This is where I did my CC shopping for the Sims 1 and I'm here to do my CC shopping for the Sims 2. Now specifically for me playing the Sims 2 at the time of the Sims 2's release, I downloaded all of my CC from the Sims 2 exchange. I've never gotten any CC from the Sims resource for the Sims 2 before, so I'm really excited to see what is on offer. So having a look at the menu here, this is all of the different categories we have for downloading CC for The Sims 2. Specifically today, I think I just want to have a look at some clothing and some hair. Let's get started with clothing, maybe because it's the first thing that I saw. And let's have a look. So 135,848 creations in The Sims 2 clothing. And the most recent was 2017, March 13th, 2017, this top finding dory swimsuit very very cute but before that it was 2015 so pretty much 2015 was the last time that cc was getting regularly uploaded to the sims resource and we've got a lot of underwear choices here oh my goodness harmonia i was wondering if there was going to be any creators that i'm familiar with from the sims 3 and sims 4 making content for the sims 2 and harmonia is definitely one. Oh boy 6793 pages that's a lot of pages I'm definitely not gonna be going through all of them I just want to kind of browse through see what we can find when I went back to 6793 there was nothing there 6736 is the first page with custom content taken all the way back to May 13th 2004 absolutely a fan freaking tastic mesh edits clearly very cool I want to go back just a couple of pages all the way back here and then I'll skip throughout to different time periods throughout I definitely want to have a look at the time period of around 2007 to 2009. That's going to be really, really interesting to me because that was when I was in the middle of my emo phase. And honestly, it kind of wasn't a phase. Still kind of am to this day, just like the elder version of it. So <laughs> it's fine. But I got the best emo CC for The Sims 2 from The Sims 2 Exchange. I've made a video covering all of the old Sims 2 CC that I still have in my game that you can download for yourself. So if you want to check out that video, it will be linked down below. And I did get a couple of questions on that video on how to install the CC. So I am going to show you in this video. So I definitely want to have a look at the 2007 to 2009 time period, see if I can get some more amazing options. Just having a look, I am already seeing a couple of things that I am interested in. What is going to be interesting is, especially going back to the early creations, a lot of these are probably going to require meshes and some of them may even require external meshes that don't exist anymore. So I feel like I'm probably going to be a little bit limited in what I am going to be able to download unless they're meshes that already exist within the Sims 2 game itself. Maybe they're just mesh edits from Sims 2 files. That's just something I'm going to have to take into consideration. Okay, I think I'm tired of this time period. I'm going to jump back to maybe page 4000 and we'll see what time period we are in at 4000. Okay, we're at 2006. This is a good time. It's the beginning of the good time. We're nearly at 2007. So I want to go back a few pages, see if I can find anything that I'm interested in. 
And just like with The Sims 1 video, this is definitely a time capsule of the times. Things that were on trend at the times that honestly have, are kind of making a comeback now. A lot of the trends that were popular back then and even like in late 90s Y2K sort of era are making a comeback now. But I just love that The Sims resource has been around for so long and this is an archive. All of this stuff is an archive. I'm sorry, I'm just seeing these formal gowns that I'm very intrigued in. I want to have a look and hopefully I don't need meshes for them and I can just download them. The hairstyles that I'm seeing on some of these as well, I'm definitely excited to check out some hairstyles as well. The first emo thing that I see is this My Cam Black Parade tee. I'm excited for that. I'm definitely starting to see a lot more options that I am interested in. In. Oh yes, I do believe that we are getting to some good stuff. Some good stuff that I am excited for. Oh, the Sims resource appears to be doing some funky things. Anyway, it's fine. Are you seeing this? <laughs> Why do I have creations loading underneath creations? It's all a bit funky at the moment. The Sims resource can't handle the amazing emo-ness of The Sims 2. <laughs> Having a look at the really pretty formal dresses that I found, all of these formal dresses that are super nice, you'll see that for all of them there's the required tab. This one says mesh on TSR required, show the details of this mesh. And this is the mesh. So basically what that means, if you're unaware, maybe if you're new to CC, is if I were to download all of these dresses, they actually would not show up in the game because this dress has to be installed for these dresses to then work. That's the basics of it. So if you see required, you've got to hope that you can find the mesh. Thankfully for these dresses, I was able to find the mesh, so I will be able to have these dresses in my game. And then for some, like this one that I saw, I really like the look of this little top. It says external mesh required, which back in the day it probably would have been Tumblr pages. I don't even know if Tumblr was around back then or people just making their own sites, creators making their own sites to host their CC. If I click on the link that is here for it, this clearly is not the CC page that I need. So that means I can't get the mesh that's required for this outfit, which means I can't get this outfit. Oh yeah, finding some really cute stuff that I'm hoping we're gonna have meshes for because a lot of the options I've already found going through, I can't get the meshes for. It's such a shame, but all of the ones that have meshes available on The Sims resource, I'm gonna be able to get, which is really nice. So I'm hoping that there's just gonna be some more of them. I think I've sated my need for some more alternative CC. Hopefully I'm going to find some that have meshes in there. I haven't looked through what I've found yet. But I just want to go through the newer creations and just see what the newest creations were for The Sims 2. Because I'm hoping that a lot of these creations are going to have their own meshes built into them or are going to have meshes that are definitely going to be able to be found. That's what I'm hoping anyway. We're gonna go through, we're just gonna have a look at a couple pages. So we're in 2015 at the moment. So again, styles are a little bit different, but hey, we've got some options that I think I could definitely want for my game. Like what a cute little like cold wear outfit. It is really nice to see though, like with The Sims 1, the overlap between when The Sims 2 was released, there was still so much content being made for The Sims 1, even way after The Sims 2 was released. And the same thing here for The Sims 3 and even The Sims 4. Like we're in 2014, by this time, this was when The Sims 4 was released. And there's still heaps of content being made for The Sims 2. The Sims 2 community is one of those communities that I definitely feel has been alive and strong all all the way through and even I find the Sims 2 community that comment on my videos you're also lovely and supportive really nice it's really cool to see that the Sims 2 even though it is a much older piece of the franchise it still has a community that is alive and well and I can definitely understand why that being said, I could spend all day just looking at the clothing tab, but I think it might be time to move on. Let me just add these in and I think it's finally time to move on. Oh my goodness, just a couple more. <laughs> 
Yes, moving on. Let's have a look at the hair, which we will find under for body. Because the for body has like nails, it has hair, it has makeup, all of that stuff in here. So if I choose a subcategory here, we've got hair. And straight away, I'm seeing what looks like Sky Sims. And I am also really familiar with Sky Sims from The Sims 3. Like, I used so much of Sky Sims hair in The Sims 3, so it is amazing to see that even some hairstyles that I am familiar with from downloading in The Sims 3 are immediately available in The Sims 2. Alright, now, here's another good example of meshes and stuff. So Sky Sims, you'll see there's a lot of this same hairstyle here, just in different colours. So we do have the mesh here. Sky Sims hair 243 mesh is what we needed. I definitely want this hairstyle, and I definitely want some of the colours we see here as well. So I'm also going to get it in the brown, I'll get it in the red, I'll get it in the black, I'll get it in this brown, I'll get it in the pink, maybe I'll go the lighter blonde. Okay, so there's 817 pages of hairstyles. So the first one's going back to 2004 May time and it'll be mesh edits of what was already in The Sims 2. For some reason The Sims resource keeps signing me out and this happened in the last video as well. I don't know why it keeps signing me out, driving me bonkers though. You guys, I'm really sorry but I actually had to stop looking for CC. The Sims resource ended up logging me out every 20 seconds, which was unbelievably annoying because I was trying to use the add to basket feature that comes with a TSR membership, which you'll see me do in just a moment. So I ended up with four hairstyles in my basket and all the rest were clothes. All right, you guys, 82 items ended up making it into my cart. 82 items, the meshes are included here. You'll see things like this. This is a mesh for some of the kids' clothing items that I've got. There's going to be some weird-looking mesh stuff happening throughout here, but 82 items is what I ended up finding. There's a couple that did not require meshes at all, which was really nice, but there was some that didn't say whether they needed a mesh or not, and I'm just going to take a chance on them pretty much, so let me dig download my basket finally it took me like 25 minutes to get it all out into cart because the sims resource just keeps logging me out driving me absolutely bonkers anyway downloading my basket right now thank you very much so with that being said, now we've come to the time where I've got to install the files. Now specifically, I'm going to be showing you two different kinds of files to install because I have two different kinds of files to install. So firstly, we'll take a look at what I downloaded from The Sims Resource right now. So here I am in my downloads folder and we've got this zip file right here. In the last video, I used WinRAR. This time, I'm just going to use the Windows Extractor, which we can do literally just by double clicking on this folder. And here are all of the package files that I just downloaded from the sims resource so that's fantastic that is step number one <laughs> and this is for specifically installing package files which are the files that we've downloaded from the sims resource but there may be other places that you can download sims 2 cc from that come as package files so this is how we install package files into the sims 2. the next step that we're going to need to do is we're going to find where we installed the sims 2. now just like my sims 1 video i downloaded and installed my sims 2 into a custom location so where i actually installed my sims 2 is going to be in a different spot to where you downloaded downloaded your sims 2 but i am going to do a little bit of research in my spare time and on the screen right now should be the pathing you need to take to find where your sims 2 game is installed and once you're in your sims 2 folder you should then be seeing all of these folders here including a downloads folder we're going to double click on the downloads folder you'll be seeing there's already some package files in here this is custom content that i already have installed into my sims 2 game so now that we've got the sims 2 downloads folder open i'm now going to go back to my zip file full of all of my package files that i got from the sims resource i'm going to use Control and a to select literally all of them and i'm going to drag them straight into my sims 2 downloads folder and now they're all in there 
That is how you install package files into The Sims 2. But now I specifically want to talk a little bit about my Sims 2 custom content video that I made a couple of years ago because a lot of people were asking for the custom content that I shared with you in that video because it came from The Sims 2 Exchange, which is not available anymore, meaning you can't download any of those pieces anymore. So I made a Google Drive folder and put all of the custom content that I had installed into to that folder. That being said, it's not organized. I had some broken meshes. It's not sorted. So if you would like to download all of the CC from that video, again, I'll link it in the pinned comment down below the Google Drive so you can go and download all of the custom content that I shared in that video. But specifically, it is a different type of file than what we just downloaded from The Sims Resource. So I'm going to show you how to install The Sims 2 Packs, which is what the files we have here are called. These are called Sims two packs. So when you download them, they should be in your downloads folder, but I have them specifically in a different spot all ready to be installed here. There's a lot here. I'm not going to show you how to install all of them because that's going to take some time, but there is a little bit more of a process that I'm going to be sharing with you now because for some reason, when I made that Sims 2 CC video, I was on a Windows 10 PC. I had no issues installing this specific type of file into the Sims 2 on my Windows 10 PC. Since then, I've upgraded to a Windows 11 PC and for some reason, I could not install <laughs> this CC into my Windows 11 PC. So when I was looking for solutions to go around that, I came across this program which is called the Sims 2 Pack Clean Installer. I'll have that linked in the pinned comment down below and in the description down below as well. So once you install the Sims 2 Pack Clean Installer, it's a really simple process from there. I'm just going to double click on one of these files. It's going to ask if I want the Sims 2 Pack Clean Installer.exe to make changes to my device and I'm going to say yes because I want to use that program to install this CC. So here we have the CC that I've just clicked on. It is ticked here. I don't need to click on anything here. I just need to click install and it's going to do the default installation which this is where all of my package files that we downloaded and installed just before went to and I'm going to press install once again. Files successfully installed. The next Sims 2 pack that I had to install has a few more things that needed to be installed, a few more parts that needed to be installed. Again, I don't need to click anything here. I just need to click install and install once again. Uh, apparently, I already have a file in there. I'm going to say yes to overwrite that file successfully installed. The file that I already had that I just overrode was probably just a mesh. That's probably all that was. So that's how you install Sims 2 packs. That's how I install Sims 2 packs on Windows 11 is through the Sims 2 pack clean installer. It's the only way that I found that I've been able to install them. That being said, the Sims 2 community, I'm hoping maybe you can come to my rescue. I would love to know if there is a way that you can sort through broken meshes and delete them because like I said, all of my Sims 2 CC that I have in that Google Drive is unsorted and it does include broken meshes. That'd be great if you could do that. Thank you so much. You guys are always so lovely. <laughs> So with that being said, that is all of our CC installed. Thankfully, The Sims 2 CC is a lot easier to install than The Sims 1. The Sims 1 was kind of convoluted in comparison. But now we're going to go into The Sims 2. We're going to have a look at the CC we've installed. And there's one more thing I need to let you know about installing CC. So let's jump into The Sims 2. In The Sims 2, you've actually got to enable the custom content to show up, a bit like The Sims 4. You've got to press a button to say, yes, I want the CC to show up in my game. On Windows 10, when I installed all of my CC and then I loaded into the game, a message popped up in the menu to say that all of the CC files had been found in the downloads folder. Did I want to enable custom content? And I had the option to press yes or no. The same thing did not happen on Windows 11 for some reason. But if we go down to options here and we go across, to game options and then catalogs display custom content if we go on for that and then we exit out of the game yes I want to quit and then if you load in again all of the custom content should be available to be used let's go into create a family and let's see if I've installed the custom content correctly <laughs> 
Well, straight away, I'm seeing, I am seeing in freaking deed that we do have some of the hairstyles, the Sky Sims hairstyles that I installed. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, and this KZ hairstyle is super cute with the bangs as well. A lot of the things that I downloaded were outfits and I'm seeing them here and I'm excited. So I did try to get some more casual. I'm going to turn her into, a, into the mirror so that you can see because it's a real shame that we can't move this UI over. Can we, Sims 2 community? Please let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to turn her into the mirror so that you can see the outfits. So this is a cute little casual. We've got some stars for this one. This one is super cute with the plaid and the cream. Crisscross. She's also got this little like mesh glove on her right hand. I used to wear mesh gloves all the time as a teenager in like high school and stuff. Oh, this one is cute. Oh, I'm super happy that I got that. The studded belt. Amazing. I think this one right here was a mesh that I had to download for another outfit. But honestly, it's just really cute and I'm happy that I've got it. Oh yeah, this is one that didn't require a mesh, which was really, really nice. I love the stripes, absolutely classic. And the skulls and hearts, super cute. This one! This is one of the ones that I wasn't sure. It didn't say that it required a mesh, but it didn't say that it didn't need a mesh as well. So I was really unsure whether this one was going to work, and it did. I'm so glad. How cool. For some reason, I am noticing with this one, the lighting. Do you see this? This is the top, is the custom content. I love it with all these buckles, but like... The lighting on the neck and the hands? I'm not quite sure what that's about. These three tops were all made by the same creator and it's happening for all of them. It's not happening for my cute little Jack Skellington Nightmare Before Christmas top though, which I'm very happy about. I think that's all of the custom content that I got for a feminine frame. Oh no, kids, hold on, kids. I did forget that I got some child CC as well because I got these cute little punky outfits. How adorable is that? That is so cute with the skull and cross bones and then we got this one which is like a heart in mouse traps and there's a man he's looking to get his heart but it's in a freaking bear trap not a mouse trap a bear trap i love that and then we've got some paw prints on this cute little dress now i wish you could see but all of them come with shoes as well like i don't know if you can see behind the ui here they come with boots as well super freaking cute because I got this one, which is another Sky Sims one. Very nice. We could get it in the brown. And then we've got it two different shades of blonde. Oh, yes, I got this one. This little, like, waistcoat thing. I did forget about that. How nice is that? Very formal. And then we got this little gothic trench coat thing with the red pants as well. I love that. Ah, oh, a couple more adult outfits. This was another one that I wasn't sure whether we needed a mesh for it. I'm really happy that it worked. It looks super cute. This one, oh my goodness, very cute. These are Avril Lavigne outfits, I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, this one is adorable. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then these ones are the ones that I was saying. I specifically said, I hope that these ones don't need meshes because they're all super cute. I found them all at the same time. They all didn't need meshes. Amazing. <laughs> this dress is super cute too. Okay, a couple of broken meshes, but I think these are my custom content that I started installing. This is what I mean. Like, this is all broken meshes. How do I get rid of them? Please help me. <laughs> But you guys, that's all I've got for this video in going CC shopping for The Sims 2, showing you how to install it and having a great little fun time having a look at all the new CC that I've got as a part of my Sims 2 game. With that being said, if you would like to see more of me, including me maybe going Sims 3 CC shopping and Sims 4 CC shopping as well, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of every time that I upload. And if you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button button down below and leave me a comment as well. Leave me the emoji of the shopping bags because we've just been CC shopping. So leave me the emoji of the shopping bags in the comments down below to let me know that you got this far in the video, that you found it either really helpful or really entertaining and that you're very excited to see me go CC shopping for The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 as well. But guys, I hope you're having the greatest day ever and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.